All right, you and I, we're the same, okay? And no, you're not a Nani brother. I'm a Nani brother. Nani brothers. Like and subscribe, by the way. But we have become a T3 Arena addict. And now we want to play on PC. And there could be a bunch of reasons why. Maybe you want to stream it, record some videos. You just want it on your PC, all right? And I'm going to show you how to do that. Because you don't know what emulator to use. You don't know which one's the best one or how to download it or even how to set it up. So I figured all that out for you. And by far, the best emulator to use is the LD Player. Oh, and yeah, more baby. specifically, the LD Player 9. Some of you may already have LD Player, which I used to. And I tried it, and it kind of sucked on that version. And so I was looking for other things. And then I realized LD Player 9 is out, and it's completely different than LD Player. You have to install that and use that one because it is by far the best emulator for T3 Arena. And so let's get into that. Oh, nani? So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into Google and type in basically just LD player. You'll find the website. It's pretty easy, but I'll leave the link in the description so you don't have to do that. And you'll come to this page. My head's kind of in the way. You're going to click on this, which is LD player nine. Okay. That is the LD player nine. And then you install that bad boy. Once you install it, it's actually kind of cool. It's already pretty much set up. There isn't a lot other things you really need to do. Um, Really depends on what you want to play. I've tested this for both the controller and mouse and keyboard, and it works fantastic for both. But let's just go over some of the stuff. And voila, there it is. Okay. So the first thing you want to do once you're in the game, once you sign in, you got to install it, then you got to sign in, and then you're here. Okay. You want to go into like, uh, probably like a, like a practice mode and just make sure your buttons are the way you want it to be and so when you have it open this is what it looks like on ld player you can click this little button right here at a full screen you can press the escape button on your keyboard to escape uh once we get in here we're going to be hitting the control button right here and as you can see there is a, a spot for keyboard and mouse and then there's a spot for controller okay right now we're going to do keyboard and mouse so we're going to back out of this we're gonna go this and so that's what i'm playing on right now it feels really comfortable with this that i use which is called an azeron and this is basically a keyboard on steroids the reason why i like this is because it has a joystick for moving but it also has the buttons um as keys like as if you're using a keyboard um so what i have right here r for reload i have the the mover wheel and this was already pre-programmed i didn't really do anything these were already set up and i just kind of like the way it was set up space for jump q for i guess your your ability and then f for your ultimate and um yeah if it, it it feels great that's how i'm playing on right now but you can customize it to however you want and so one of the main things very important here is okay so the control button is how you free your mouse. So when your mouse is like this, you can't actually like aim. So you have to press the control button to lock your mouse so that you can actually aim. That is one big advantage I could not find on any other emulator, how to do that. Um, that's why I like LD Player 9, it does it for you. All you have to do is to make sure you press the control button. And so you can press the control. The reason why you'd want the mouse is so you can click on things. Like if you wanted to exit out or if you wanted to change your settings, you want to hit the control button. All right. Then once everything feels comfortable, you test it out everything, you like it. Then probably the next step you want to do, and um, especially if you're making videos or if you're streaming, you might want to take the buttons off the screen. Because you, as you can tell behind me, you can see the buttons on the screen. Very easy to do. Um, you'd hit the escape button. And then you'd go, you'd hit control, so you free up your mouse. Then you would go on the control button, go to the keyboard, and there's a little check arrow that says show key map instructions when game starts. You want to turn that off, but also show the key map prompt in games. Turn that off. Then hit save. Now, when you go back to game, you full screen it, hit the control button. It's good! There is no signs of your controls. Now let me go over some of the advantages. I found playing on keyboard and mouse. There's some there's a few distinctful advantages that I found. And 
One is you can continuously jump very easily while you're shooting. So if you see somebody in game doing that, they're probably playing on keyboard. Is it's way too easy to do. Really hard to do on the phone. All right, and because I'm super helpful, we're gonna test out how to do it on a controller right here and figure it all out together. So I'm plugging in my Xbox One Elite controller it has paddles on the back. It says gamepad was detected. But I don't see any controls, so maybe we have to set it ourselves. So if that's the case, let's just start doing it. Right joystick for view, that's what we want. We want a move joystick over here. Um, we want we want a tap button for reload. Make that maybe B. Um, jump button maybe A. And then for uh, let's do right trigger for your ability, and then maybe for your ultimate we'll do right bumper. And let's give it a shot. Okay, so far so good. The aiming's really slow. I think you might need to program it to uh, be a little more sensitive. But we'll just test out the abilities. Yep, here it goes. Abilities work just fine. Jump button works. Yeah, it feels pretty good. This is further than I got on blue uh, stacks. Because blue stacks, I couldn't even get the controller to work whatsoever. Um, if, and then, by the way, if you're a genius and you can figure it out, let us know in the comment section because that would help out a ton of people. Because I actually like blue stacks a lot. The new blue stacks is actually pretty nice and it runs smooth. I just couldn't get the controller to work whatsoever. So we're gonna go with this right joystick. It's on sensitivity three. Let's put let's bump this bad boy up to eight. Oh, oh, this might be too fast. But it's kind of it's it's kind of what we were trying to do. Let's uh. Maybe bump it down to, let's do four. Let's just see what happens at four. Okay, I mean, it's still kind of slow. I think we can probably bump it up to five. Okay. This feels pretty good. I like five. But I'm crazy enough, I might even go six. But this feels pretty good. One thing that we gotta test out real quick though is can we hold the R button? Which we can, yes. There you go, controller set up. It actually wasn't very hard to do. Um, so, keyboard, controller, this is why I like LD Player. It's so user friendly to set up for both, okay? That is the biggest benefit on any game. I used to play Mobile Legends on LD Player, and I would play it with my controller, this controller right here. And it was very easy to set up. And so yeah, I tested this bad boy for a couple hours, and it runs smooth as heck, man. No lag, no crash, nothing. This thing is freaking awesome, man. And uh, yeah, I got really nothing else to teach you guys. So now you guys can be sweaty nerds like me and uh, dominate all the nine-year-olds in T3 Arena. <laughs> but hey, if this video helped you out, you can help me out and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be dropping some more T3 videos. And yeah. I'm just curious, leave in the comment section, who is your mains? Who are you guys playing? What characters do you guys like to play? Because maybe we can squad up, man. But hey, with that, Sean Bomzy out. Hit you with that.